Hello, my name's Claire Taylor. I'm a McMillan Nurse Consultant and I'm here to talk to you about cancer pain. It's a very common symptom. Many people who have been diagnosed with cancer and treated with cancer will experience pain. Most cancer pain is caused by the tumour pressing on bones, nerves or other organs in the body. And sometimes your pain may be due to your cancer treatment. Cancer pain can be acute, by that we mean it may be short-lived, or it may be longer lasting, which we call chronic pain. It's really important that you talk to us about that pain because there's a lot that we can do to help you. There are many different sorts of pain. There may be tissue pain, which we can often describe as visceral, and that can be throbby, achy, crampy. You can have nerve pain. That may be more of a shooting or pricking nature. And you can have bone pain, which is often a dull, uh, throbbing sort of pain. And there's also referred pain, where people might experience the pain in a different part of the body than the cancer site. And a few people might experience phantom pain, where the brain thinks that they're an organ or part of the body that's been removed is still there. When we're thinking about pain and what might be causing it, we also need to think more widely. We often like to talk about total pain. Total pain is a mix of the emotions that you might be feeling when you have that pain. It may be that there's other things happening in your social life, relationships, maybe a, a spiritual connection to the pain. When we're thinking about managing cancer pain, it's really important for you to tell us exactly what the pain is like. So we want to know how long you've had the pain, what are you doing to manage the pain, what helps and also what hinders. So understanding more about the nature of the pain will help us in guiding you to more effectively manage it. And there are a number of different painkillers that we can offer you. It's really important that this is done in conjunction with either your GP or your specialist team to make sure that we get the right type of painkiller for that pain. There are three main different categories of painkillers for mild, moderate and severe pain. If you have mild pain, it's likely that we'll start you on a drug like paracetamol. If that's not proving to be sufficient, we'll then escalate to a moderate strength painkiller like codeine. Once you've reached the full dose of that particular type of painkiller, analgesia, and that's still not relieving your pain, then we are likely then to move you to the stronger painkillers, which you'll have heard of, drugs like morphine or opioids. It's important that you tell us about any pain that you might have between your prescribed painkiller doses. This is called breakthrough pain. There are swift acting painkillers that we can give you to help with that pain. There are many strategies that can be used as well as painkillers. For instance, positioning. It may be that you can get more comfortable in the bed or the chair by changing the pillows and changing your position. Heat pads and warm baths can ease aches and stiffness, whilst an ice pack may relieve inflammation and swelling. Distraction techniques are really useful. Try watching TV, reading or listening to music. Talking to family members and friends can really help relieve some of the anxieties and worries that you may have about your pain. Many people turn to complementary therapies and that might be something you also want to think about. It's really helpful if you can share with us what you found helpful in managing your pain and what things aggravate it and make it worse. A way to capture that would be to use a pain diary where you can record the pain over the day and the things that have maybe aggravated it and things that have made it better. This will help us plan your care and better support you.